Hi, we're here today with uh, Genghis Arbach, and uh, Genghis is the general manager for the International Flight Training Center, which is where, Genghis? And maybe you could tell us a little bit about yes. it. Uh, it's in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, IFTC Istanbul is the name, and as you said, it's International Flight Training Center. And uh, located uh, very close to the main airport of Istanbul. So it's in a strategically very good location, you would say, right? It is. It is actually. Um, it is uh, where the two continents meet, Asia and uh, Europe, mm -hmm. and it's a very historical city, as you know, uh, full of uh, wonderful and exciting things. It's the economical capital of uh, Turkey, as well as uh, the business center of the country, and uh, the idea of uh, Istanbul, I'm choosing Istanbul was... Uh, a decision made uh, after long uh, discussions and uh, research and uh, the, this was due to a lack of uh, training capacity in, uh, starting from East of Europe all the way to Asia. Only a few uh, centers existed, as you know. Sure, sure. And um, you're uniquely qualified uh, to run an organization like that because I understand you're a pilot as well. I am actually. I'm an active pilot, an airline pilot. Uh, I fly for uh, the airline, Freebird Airlines, in our uh, uh, parent holding, and I'm an instructor and examiner at the same time, and uh, I have done uh, uh, post order positions for training and flight operations uh, through my career. Mm -hmm. That's great, and maybe you could tell us about some of the flight simulators and about the facility itself. I know it's even kind of a green facility too, quiet. Uh, clean and uh, it's got uh, very good technology there. Maybe you could tell us about the technology and uh, how you uh, like to run your uh, training center. Sure, uh, it's a very uh, uh, interesting location as I mentioned and it is the major hub for uh, arriving into Turkey. Uh, the purpose behind uh, setting a training center in Istanbul was uh, to meet primarily to meet the training needs in uh, Turkey, in the country, uh, for all the airlines and individuals and the flight schools. Also, the secondary goal was uh, to be able to reach out uh, to the region and also to meet the training needs for the region as well, for uh, airlines and individuals and flight schools again. And it's, it is uh, fairly new. The building was operational, uh, actually we moved in, in uh, spring of uh, 2008. Our first machine, a Boeing 737-NG, uh, arrived at the same time and uh, certified in the spring of 2008 again. The second simulator is a 320, uh, certified in August of 2008. In fall, uh, followed by our second 737-Boeing NG simulator. And finally, we finished year 2008, which is a very important year for us, with our fourth uh, simulator, another 320. The building is uh, the product of uh, three architects, a lot of effort and a lot of uh, long hours of work. It's a minimalistic technological approach. Uh, it's a very nice, we, we certainly enjoy uh, working in it and uh, we have uh, very positive feedback from our customers. When they come in from briefing rooms to classrooms, their access to simulators and all the facilities, try to basically design with the uh, mixed know-how of a lot of end users to make the life easier, the training and enjoyable uh, experience for them. Who are the customers? Who are the typical customers that you're seeking today and that would typically fly at your flight training center? Actually, all airlines in Turkey and in the region. Of course, our doors are open to everybody in the world, as long as uh, they can reach our uh, lovely city and uh, lovely country and uh, center. Sure. It is uh, basically airlines, flight schools, and individuals who are seeking for type rating training in uh, both Boeing 737 and Airbus 320 family. Right. And the technology behind it, is that Mektronics technology? It is. Uh, we chose Mektronix and uh, all our simulators are manufactured by Mektronix from uh, Montreal, Canada. 
it was a long process and we made our decision and uh, we believe we, we did the right decision by picking up Mechtronics and we're quite happy and I can tell you the first thousand hours of, uh, for instance, our first simulator with the one hour downtime. That's great. Uh, remarkable as far as I'm concerned. How many, how many, um, so as, as time goes by, I, I anticipate that uh, IFTC is going to be busier and busier. Hopefully, and uh, like I said, we're giving dry lease capacity to all the airlines and uh, all our customers. We give typewriting training for both types, and also we give uh, aviation-related, uh, operational-related uh, trainings, like uh, from CRM to uh, RVSM to danger goods to cabin training. So we try to offer a big variety, wide variety of uh, training services to the aviation community. Do you see um, multi-crew uh, multi pilot licensing somewhere possibly down the road? Yes, uh, ac actually at the moment we are talking with uh, several uh, flight uh, training organizations and uh, we do indeed support the multi-pilot license uh, scheme and uh, we believe that it's going to have a significant place in the future of aviation. Very good. And I understand recently you had the media there too when they were, uh, you uh, used your uh, A320 flight simulator to simulate the uh, actual uh, landing that they had in New York City with the A320 Airbus. Uh, indeed. Uh, it was a very nice experience for us. Uh, media comes to us uh, quite often and we enjoy opening our doors again to uh, raise the awareness of our center in the aviation community. But the specific time with this uh, remarkable uh, incident in New York, it was a wonderful uh, outcome at the end of a you know, sad incident, but everybody was alive. And the media came and we uh, basically uh, did the, the same footprints of what the crew did, and uh, we did a landing over water, and, uh, and we, we walked out of simulator safety too. Very good. Uh, Dan Gasarva, thank you very much. And um, if somebody wanted to uh, reach you, what's your uh, web address? If somebody wanted to look it up on Our the web. Our web address is www.iftc.aero, Alpha Echo Romeo Oscar. And uh, you can find us on the, on the internet and then uh, all our contact information is there. We certainly look forward to uh, more visitors on the virtual environment and in real life. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you.